At the end of the 1990s, many years ago, a lot of computer problems were expected because yeah, memory was uh, very expensive, storage was very expensive. So programmers used very short um, data structures to store data. And a date was stored uh, many times with uh, only the last two digits of the year. So if you have, for instance, uh, 1988, uh, only the 88 was used to store that value. Um, and that isn't a problem if you uh, want to sort them, but it becomes a problem if you have the year 2000. So at uh, f January the 1st of the year 2000, a lot of problems were expected where yeah, dates were not longer in the correct order or uh, sorting was uh, a problem or other, uh, other errors uh, popped up. Now, the same problem can occur in 2038 uh, because there is uh, another problem appearing uh, if data is stored as integers. As storage is not that expensive anymore, you should be aware that it's better to use a long value or a timestamp value or other values that you can use in your database or in your program. Let's look at some of the codes that I can show you to illustrate this issue. To show you what can happen, I will use a JShell. JShell is a little tool uh, that comes bundled with Java and that allows you to run Java uh, code in the terminal and see uh, how this behaves. Now, first I want to check uh, the integer max value. I want to know wh what I can store in an integer. Uh, it's a big number, but as soon as you start using seconds or milliseconds, uh, you can really overflow this value very fast. Now, let me copy a little piece of code here. So we define a test date uh, and we want to use this integer value here. So I could use integer max value just to show you that we are using the same number here. And in Java, you can separate big numbers with an underscore, which makes it easier to read. And normally if I execute it, we will get an error because we didn't import the Java time class. Voila, let's try again. Okay, we have it here, you see? So we have this specific date. In 2038, on January the 19th, 3.14.7 in the morning. Now, what could be the problem if we use um, this number as an integer uh, to create or manipulate dates? Uh, let's change our test date and uh, we are going to use some extra seconds there. Now, oh, add one second. So we're now same date, we're just at 8 seconds instead of 7. If we ask the numeric value of this uh, test date in epoch seconds, now epoch is a zero point that is defined in your programming language in January, uh, that's January the 1st of 1971, that's the zero point of uh, daytime values in Java. So if we check it, we get the same value that we were expecting here, plus one. So one second was added. Now this is a long value, which can contain a, big, uh, a whole bigger number than, than an integer. So if we ask for the same value as an integer, then you see that we actually have a minus value. So we're not at the same value as we were expecting here. And if we go back to a date time from this numeric value, so this minus value here, you see that we traveled back in time. We are now in 1901 and the 13th of December. So it's very important to keep in mind that when you define a data structure, a database, uh, a, a variable in your application, to use the correct date format for uh, date times, where you can possibly overrun the available value. 